its main bathroom week on the block. One of the toughest challenges our blockheads will face. Despite the pressure, some have been acting up. I'm fuming. We have another... No, 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 no. OK, but then we hey, have Hey, sign, you. accept it, cop it in the chin, hear the spiel and get back to work. And tonight, they'll have to roll with the punches too. We're on there to take this apart, don't we? At this point, I feel like I have bitten off more than I can chew. A problem tradie causes havoc again. I don't really like the tone of your voice. He isn't going to walk in here for all these people rip it out. <laughs> and my housewarming gifts turn up the heat as all the blockheads are forced off site. We're going to Geelong. Now? I don't even know where Geelong is. Just as trouble's Wait. brewing for some. What's well, Brad done? Let oh, us down. Oh, now. Well, I reckon sacking for this week. And it's all for this. It is challenge time. We're midway through week two on the block and our new recruits are racing against the clock to get their main bathrooms built. The pace is relentless and for some it's proving tough to face another full day of hard yakka. A few more minutes just to uh, lay in would be good and then we'll get up, I promise. We did set the alarm for 6.30. Yeah, well, it's gone off four times. <laughs> Morning. Right. There was no sleeping in over at apartment three. Carsten was up with the sparrows. That's his door, isn't it? But he didn't haul himself out of bed just to take in the scenery. It's pretty risky. Well, I've been working in a coal mine going down, down. I got the plasters in at about 5.30 because it's going to take about an hour and a half to get all this a hell of a lot of plaster up these stairs. So. That way we could get it all up there and get that done by seven. Now, uh, two more. <laughs> and then it's all systems go then. But not everyone's impressed by Carsten's efficiency at this time of the morning. What are you doing? It wasn't you using drop saw, was it? it? wasn't me using the drop saw. <laughs> I was sound asleep. I'll probably be the only one who whinges, but, you know, it's about respect. Roller doors going up and down, people talking really loud. And we just all need our sleep, you know, we're all tired. 5.30, 6 o'clock, I think, is just kind of the limit that we should be setting. I heard your missus rouse someone up. Oh, no. <laughs> Everyone's a bit grumpy in the morning, aren't they? <laughs> Anyways, we're stopping before 6 <laughs> While it may have annoyed the neighbours, number three's Dawny has got them off to a cracking start. Look how fast they're going. They don't muck around. Friggin' machines. While the competition's still bringing in materials and prepping their framing, Carsten and his boys have got the jip rock up for their first wall. But while Carsten's get up and go has been impressive this morning, the same can't be said for his personal hygiene. Carsten doesn't really change his clothes often and wouldn't be surprised if he's wearing the same undies as yesterday, are you? I've got two pairs of these ones. <laughs> the panelling goes along there. That's so the panelling's only the 12 blind mil. Go to? No, it just sits on top. It sits on top, okay. So less 32 mil. Over at number five, whether or not they're fresh on, Darren's got his knickers in a knot. Um, you really need now to get on and let Marshall do his things. I will. I have to get this organised as well, Daz, or it won't get made in time. Today's a big day. Um, We've got Marsha, our plumber, roughing everything. Our electrician's coming this morning to rough in all the wires. Uh, I've got my trader here, the builder here, getting uh, inducted to help me finish the walls off and the ceiling. We've got the plasters coming at lunchtime to plaster everything. Um, and then the uh, tiler coming back this afternoon to waterproof everything. So, big, big day. You should get the nail bag on the day. Help Dad. You need an apprentice? Uh, Come on, mate. Not at the moment, I don't. He won't let me involved, get involved yet. Right. I offer, and he never, ever 
wants me to. Don't you okay? trust your missus? There's too much happening today. Give her a go. Just get in there, Dee. Oh, I'm trying, Keith. Yeah. I've got my boots on. But although Darren doesn't trust her skills with the tools, Dee is pretty handy when it comes to cracking the whip. <laughs> See, on my knees, I told you. Come on, we've got to get this done, Marshall. You're a hard woman. Perhaps she's just got up on the wrong side of the bed after this morning's rude awakening. Heard a whisper we had guys on site at 5.30 in the morning carrying up plaster sheets. Hey, you're a good bloke, mate, getting here at 5.30 this morning. Carson. Yeah, mate. Come here, mate. Come here. What's up? What are we doing getting these guys here at 5.30 in the morning? Oh, we had a hell of a lot of plaster to get up, so we carried it up the stairs. Ah, uh, we're pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. Yeah, you know, sort of lift up nice and slowly. And... In future, boys, we can't do that anymore. We arrive at 7. Otherwise, we upset the neighbours. Right. People come in, they open doors, they close car doors, they talk, they swear, they upset the neighbours, and we don't want to do that. You've actually had an hour and a half's advantage. <laughs> yeah, right. So tonight, yeah. the boys can go an hour and a half early. That's fine. Yeah, no dramas. Apartment One, building the stairs and platform for their open shower design, has put Michael and Carleen behind. Worse still, the couple are having second thoughts. I'm not convinced about that open shower. It's too late now. Yeah, we have to get convinced. Hmm. Yep, way too late. Their chippy has almost finished what's been a painstaking job. A bit behind at the moment. Uh, we're supposed, classes are supposed to have started already. <laughs> At this point, I feel like I have bitten off more than I can chew. I mean, um, this has taken us a day and a half, and it's just, yeah, we've still got more to do today, so hopefully, yeah, we can get it all sorted and, and waterproof tonight. And isn't it always the way? Just when you're in a rush, Keith spots a problem. Hey, Michael. Yeah, mate. Can I just see you for a sec, mate? Love to. Now... The building inspector is going to want to see bugle screws or saddles or triple grips on all these stair connections. Before you cover this up, I want to see that happen. Yep, all right. So just batten screws through everything. Batten screws through everything or triple grips yep. or saddles. All right. The framing for the stairs and shower platform needs this extra reinforcement to carry the weight of the tiles. Unfortunately for Michael and Carleen, it's not going to be a quick job. How are you going for time? Oh, we're pushed. We are pushed. A lot of work in this. Mm. There's a lot of work in it, I can see it. Yeah, I'm starting to... Um, we need to get stairs. It creates time. It really I'm does. I'm starting to think it will maybe a little bit too ambitious. Just get these guys going, mate. All right. They're going to have to hurry. Come on, boy! Yes. Back at Max and Carsten's, it looks like their early start was well worth the slap on the wrist it earned them. By 9am, all the plasterboard is up and they are well ahead of the game. Or are they? No good. No good at all. Keith spotted that the drain hasn't been properly sealed. An oversight which could eventually cause leaks into their neighbour's apartment. How are we going to fix this up? We're going to take this apart, don't we? Take that off. And that off. That's probably one of the things of working too fast. Some little things may get missed. Uh, it's, I'm not a plumber or a builder, so I can't pick up on these little things. Yeah. Yeah, they had that sheeted before I even got me part of the Yeah, you haven't had a chance, have you? Yeah, it can be a pain, sort of, you know, when you are w working fast, to take a few steps backwards, but we shouldn't, we're not really going to lose a great amount of time. We we'll just pull it out, clean her up, silicon, get it back down, boom, 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 smack. Yeah. While Carsten, his plumber and the builder get on with fixing the problem, a job which involves taking down some of the plasterboard they got up so early to put in... Oh, straight, yeah. These plasterers can't do much but stand around like garden ornaments. Then a 
it's all good. And thanks, guys. That was good. Good job. Well done. Hey by the time Keith's okay the repair, they've been held up by an hour and a half. And their crazy early start has been a classic case of more haste, less speed. I hope there's no other mistakes, but, you know, again, I don't know what's 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 good and what's bad. Um, that's something I'm going to learn over the next eight weeks, I suppose. Unfortunately, some lessons on the block are learnt the hard way. I don't really like the tone of your voice. I'm just trying to do this reasonably. Coming up next... I'm so over Francois. Last week's late trade, he plays hardball on his bill. If I don't put the money in right now, then he's going to take the cabinet. And Big Darren loses his cool. Oh, it's going to be too hard. What's going to be too hard? The plastering. Because there's so much work involved, he reckons. The bathroom is one of the most technically difficult rooms the blockheads will have to complete. These studs are ready to go. I've already ripped that. Ready to go. So far, Darren has yet to employ a builder or a chippy, relying on his own skills and those of his plumber, Marshall. This morning, they've hit a snag. But what are your concerns? It's out of square. It's out of square. It's going to affect yeah, the entire you You'll find probably 85% of these walls in this whole place are out of square. Before building began, the surveyor marked out the architect's plan on the floor so the blockheads can see where they need to build new walls. We're working off the lines that are provided on the plan. Simple as that. But what Darren and Marshall have failed to realise is that this doesn't guarantee square rooms because the original external walls are not square. Maybe you might have to add a wall or something like that and hide the the indiscrepancies. How do we hide a wall when the grate's in and the toilet's in there? You do it before that happens. <laughs> Marshall's reluctance is understandable. Building an extra wall will put them well behind schedule. But the alternative, an out of square room and a messy tile job, will most likely cost them points with the judges. Okay. Tell them, mate, give me a square line to work from. Mate, everyone's in the same boat. Every contestant has the same issue. Well, everyone else might want to build a room out of square. <laughs> I feel like I'm wasting time now. Yeah, we are. Over in apartment one, Michael and his chippy nearly finished reinforcing the framing for the stairs and shower platform, which Keith demanded earlier. Mate, yeah. How you going, Michael? You winning? Hey, mate, yeah, I think we're all good for the inspection. Oh, is there. He's, he's thorough, old Keith, isn't he? We have put a few bugles in, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> How many, what, 100? More. Probably about 300. Wow. Well, i tell you what, though, I'm happy with it. Good. We'll just fix that little section up there. And yeah, we'll just that one there, and I reckon that's it. From a job well done to a job half done. I don't really like the tone of your voice. Max is on the phone to last week's cabinet maker, Francois. We're definitely going to pay you money. I'm just saying we're not paying the full amount. He's a bit of a drama queen, really. And Francois certainly caused more than his fair share for the couple last week. Our cabinet guy was supposed to be here at five. Just keep yeah, trying. Just keep trying. Right Righto, sir. He goes, oh, is it really 9 o'clock? Oh, no. my God. The judge is going to walk in halfway through a cabinet being made. What's this about? A spectacular cabinet is supposed <laughs> to be in this position. <laughs> when Francois did eventually show up, Max had little option but to fire him. I need reliability. If you had a communicated that would be a different situation but You're there was else? yes it's the block we have to be organized i feel like we gave you the opportunity of a lifetime and you've let us down i can't do that when a grown man cries kind of just like a soft little puppy and when it comes to negotiating francois's five thousand dollar bill Carsten's also staying well out of the picture. And I want to come to an agreement before any money is transferred. We don't want to pay the full amount because we haven't been delivered a full product and it was 48 hours late. You know what? That's fine. I'll come and take the cabinet back. Okay? Pardon? Okay. I'll take the cabinet back. 
I'm so over Francois. But I'm going to try and find Keith and see if he'll chat to Francois. Yep, get him to take it, I say. Francois? Yeah, see it, Francois. Good luck putting it somewhere else. That's not going to happen. He isn't going to walk in here through all these people and rip it out. That's not going to happen. It's him this. calling me now. Yeah, I've got to get some water. Hi, Francois. While Carson makes himself scarce once again, the Keithinator steps in. Look, the way I see it, mate, we have to come to an agreement. Legally, you can't just come in and rip this product out, mate. We own the site. Um, if you're going to come in here grumpy, it's not going to happen. Five hundred. What about four grand? If you put the four grand to my account now, then yes. So you're prepared to take four grand, so you'll give them a thousand discount. I need the money in my account right now. All right, well, we'll give you back. We'll give you a call back soon, mate. Francois definitely cost us a win on the first room, and I, to be honest, I just just want to be done with it and move on. Every now and again in building, you're going to have to wear some costs. I think you're better off just taking the four thousand. Yep. You've got to reduce. You've got a thousand dollars off the products. Walk away. Mm. Otherwise, we're going to get into a big dispute here, and it could drag on for ages, yep. and it might affect your result for the rest of the show. It's we're going party like it's your birthday. Mm. High time we lighten the mood around here. And who doesn't love a Prezi? Hey everybody, front and centre, please. Come on in. I'm a good bloke, so I'm giving a housewarming gift. Yay! Yay! Carlo and Michael, okay. open it in private. Mm. Don't tell anyone about it. Darren and Dee, here you go. Hey, thank yeah. you. Don't tell anyone about All it. All right. Max. Yay. So there you go. Beautiful. Chris and Jenna. Thank you. Okay. Housewarming gift from me. Look All right. See you later, fellas. I love giving prezies. Babe, we got a present from Scotty. Oh, nice. <laughs> Are we going to read the card? Oh, is that all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit underwhelmed. Oh, baby. And a piece of chocolate. It's a pizza maker. maker. I don't get it. Is this a housewarming gift to us? Ooh, milkshake maker. Milkshake maker. maker. Oh, it's nice. Long. Dear Darren and Diane, I hope you're settling into your new home. Here's a little housewarming gift from me to you. And you've not only worked hard at renovating, but... You've also worked hard at getting to know your fellow blockheads. So I thought it's time to... To love, love thy neighbour. <laughs> and what better way to show than with a present? Your neighbours to favour are Carlene and Michael. Simon and Shannon. Deanne and Darren. Max and Carsten. Chris and Jenna. Good. Meet me at How Bazaar Antiques and Collectibles in Geelong. Geelong? Geelong? So we're going to Geelong? We're going to Geelong. Now. Dong, dong, dong. Bang, bang, bang. I can smell a challenge. <laughs> Scotty. Yeah? I do appreciate your gift, but next time, you know, there's a massive renovation going on, so yeah. if you want to give me 10 grand or something, <laughs> you know, just for next time. You didn't like the sandwich maker? I love it. <laughs> Did I overhear you say I'm underwhelmed? Just by that little part. I love this, though. It's very neat riding. I know. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Michelle Rudd. I appreciate like it. it. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's a are challenge. Are you sure there's no other 10 grand in your pocket? Or um, let me just have a look. Five, no. I'll take... No, Nothing. Okay. Zero. Right. Challenge day. I I'm love challenge days. It <laughs> I'm means, excited. It means I've got the day off. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Stop work. <laughs> we'll be gone for a full day, probably. Oh, that's great. Right, drop the sheet. We've got to go to Geelong. Enjoy work. Right, boys, down tools. We're on strike. I'll keep finishing the work again while they go for a nice drive down the highway. Cappuccino, chai latte. Who's going to uh, come and get all the timber because they're going to finish it off? Because we won't be here. Uh, well, it's just a really awkward time. Well, we knew um, that there was going to be a challenge today, so let's just go do it. Just because we've got so much happening. We've got, we've got plumber, we've got plaster, we've got electrician, we've got still to finish that room. And our tile is coming to Membrane this afternoon, so we've got... A lot to do. a lot to do today. I hope that was alcohol for us to soften the blow, was it? No, it was a milkshake maker. Milkshake maker. All right, um, so Minor 10's coming to deliver the rest of the sticks in about 
Well, there's the trucks leaving in about 15 minutes. We're going to bring this up, around, back down. Yep. Yeah, okay. We've got to go. All right. Let's go. All right. yeah. See you yeah. later. You're in charge. Yeah, win. See Make ya. Sure you win. Win, win, win. Sorry, I've got to get past. We've got to go. We're in a hurry. And even before they make it out the door, the couple's stress levels get notched up even further. Brad. What's Brad done? Let oh, us down. now because, oh, his boys don't want to work all night and all this and all this, that. Oh, it's going to be too hard. What's going to be too hard? The plastering. Darren's just got off the phone to his plasterer, whose team is supposed to be turning up in an hour and a half. You're telling me you're pulling out now? He says, no, no, we'll get through this week. I said, mate, it will tell me. If your boys are whinging about it and they don't want to do it, tell me so I can organise someone else. No, forget him. Get rid of him. Have you guys got a good plasterer? Th yeah, the boys are pretty good. Brad's going to do it this week. Yeah, well, I reckon sack him for this week. Oh, well, what's yeah. he doing? Oh, he's just being, you know, saying that he's committed to it and now whinging about the hours. And oh, the yeah, it's no. the block. No, that's not cool. No, it's not cool. Missed an episode of The Block Glasshouse? Catch up at nine, jump in, and you'll never miss a show again. While you're there, make sure you enter our competition to win 20 grand towards your property dream. And it's all thanks to our mates at AMP. Check it out. The Blockheads have been pulled away from working on their bathrooms and are on their way to a challenge. For some, it's time for a sing-song. <laughs> Darren and Dee have put the karaoke on hold. They've just called the boss of their plastering team, Brad, and fired him and his whole crew. What did Brad say? You know, my guys are whinging to me. You know, I, you know, I told them right back at the start it's going to be tough. He said they were already whinging about how long they have to be there for, and the other night they were whinging about it and they didn't want to come back. And I said, look, mate, oh, I can't have that. See you later. He was fired? Yeah. Disappointing. Mm. Next. Ooh, anyone else feel the temperature drop? But Carsten's keeping it cosy. That friggin' stinks. <laughs> oh my god, it smells like veggie bite. Baby, I'm a troublemaker. Baby, I'm a troublemaker. Good morning. Hi, Shell. Hi. Hey, Shelly. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi there. Oh, such right. happy faces. <laughs> well, hello, Blockheads. It's very nice to see you all again. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Shell. Out back at the block, the transformation is well underway from an 80s office building into some pretty stylish apartments. And it's become quite clear you're all very handy when it comes to turning something old and drab into something new and fab. So, for today's challenge, you are to select an original piece of pre-loved furniture from How Bazaar and repurpose it, giving it an entirely new life and a completely new function. There is no shortage of treasures to be found, but please select carefully because not only will your piece be judged on originality and functionality, but it must also appear somewhere in your beloved neighbour's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> in six hours' time, two of Geelong's finest exports will be here to judge your final pieces, and the team that creates the most impressive new piece of furniture will walk away with $5,000 cash towards their own renovation budget. Nice. It is challenge time! Yeah! You've got six hours. Your time starts now. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. There are so many cool vintage and pre-loved objects in this store, the Blockhead's first challenge is to narrow down their options. But something catches the boy's eye almost immediately. Dun, dun, dun. That is a beautiful uh, idea. We could make a deer head chandelier. <laughs> That's great. Oh, That's great. Be funny though. I want to take a drill to a deer head's eye. 
That was on my bucket list. <laughs> but Simon's not convinced a mutilated deer head will make such a great gift for Chris and Jenna. But if it wins us five grand... Can you see that as a chandelier? A sick puppy versus a stuffed deer? Yep, this is going to get interesting. And not in a good way. We want to hollow out the deer's head. So we can fire freaking laser beams from its eyes. Laser beam. Hello, how are you? I'm going to be given a new life. Yes, I am. Hey. Hey there, boy. <laughs> On the board for the Creepy Express. Way too big. Michael and Carlene's bright idea is a little more conventional. Got this big lampshade. That could look really hideous. It's not going in our apartment. <laughs> well, there's no need to worry about good taste. It is, after all, a gift for the Brothers Grimm. In fact, add a few laser beams to the design and they'll be on to a winner. And you see how you go. Paint it. Are you kidding? Huh? No. That's an awesome finish. I've come up with a bit of a lampshade idea. I'm not sure how original it's going to be. Um, I think it'll, I'd like to have it in our apartment. So we're happy with the light idea, we just need to sort the base out. Yeah. We were just coming over to grab them. No Bad way. luck, mate. Bad Wait. luck. Oh, sorry, guys. I Jerks. thought you had yours. You've got one of those things. Jerks. Oh, come on, guys. This is the love, not loathe, thy neighbour challenge. Fortunately, the couple find an alternative before it gets ugly. Yeah, I reckon it's this one. What if you cut this? push this out further. But yeah, it definitely ruins the whole aesthetic, you know what I mean? Like, this is good for a spotlight. Or perhaps a massive laser beam. <laughs> How cool is this? At least they've settled on an idea. Sparta! Unlike Chris and Jenna, they're making a housewarming gift for Daz and Dee. A case with plants in each one of them, like a herb thing. I reckon they'll be cool. Green, black, green, black, green, black. Green, black what? It just green is the plants. Yeah, what's black? It's just to break it up. Do you think that'll be awesome? So what, a herb garden? Oh, it's just greenery, whatever. Max and Carsten need a gift for Michael and Carlene. Having failed to discover treasure in the store, Carsten finally thinks he's struck gold just outside the front door. Now that is one very, very decorative piece up there. If you put a light in there, it'd shine out a bit like a lamp. But turns out his bright idea could be a bit of a stinker. Sorry, guys. It's actually part of the building, that one. Is that part of the building? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we can't chop it off? No, you can't chop it off, no. no it's the vent for the toilet. Oh, no. Now yeah, I've got to go walking around again. Coming up... This is a family program. It's all fun and games at the challenge. What are you building? <laughs> but it's a different story back at the block. I don't know what's going on. In Darren and Dee's bathroom at the moment, it's a big disaster. You've walked into a nasty situation, you really have, I can see it. The blockheads are midway through turning something old and drab into something new and fab in their Love Thy Neighbour challenge. As the name suggests, whatever they create will be given to their neighbours as a housewarming gift. And they must use it somewhere in their apartment. Dee, what have you two found here? Well, a couple of big old horns from Indeed. like a carnival or something. Fantastic. That I thought would look amazing hanging over a dining table. So you're doing the lighting option. Lighting, yeah. If all goes to plan and they finish on time, Darren and Dee's loudspeaker pendant lights will make a grand statement in Max and Carsten's apartment. But will they fit in the couple's dining room? They're going to want to have a mighty high ceiling oh, in their dining really room. really high ceiling, so that's why we thought it could work. So we're fill filling the brief here? Functionality? Yep. Originality? There's yes. no question yes. about that. And, and completely gotta... repurposed. That's right. So I think we can tick all the boxes. Good luck with that. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Have fun. I look forward to seeing it. Back at the block, things aren't going quite so well in the couple's apartment. G'day, Marshall. How are you, big fella? Are you back on the carpentry duties, mate? 
I was trying not to be. I thought you were a plumber. I'm trying to be a plumber. <laughs> I tell you what, you guys are behind the eight ball. I know that. Big time. But that's what happens when you take the workers away. So Sorry, for what? His plaster is gone. His plaster is gone. He his plaster today. I don't know how he's going to get this room over the line. I'm getting worried. It's a massive bathroom. And with only really two and a half days to go, he's in trouble. Can I swap shirts? Uh, no. No. Hey, Michael, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I got you loud and clear, Daz. So, just as well Daz is having fun now, because it's in short supply back at his apartment. Like Daz and Dee, Michael and Carlene have decided to create some repurposed lighting. Who's your neighbour? Um, boys. OK. OK. So you think they have quite a distinct style about their place already? I don't know. I think theirs could be... I don't know, could, could sort of handle anything. So what was your original idea? To use this... Oh, oh. as a light. Right. You know, like a, you know, those spotlights? Yes, yes. Mm. Right. How's your welding? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's really modern, the, you know, those spotlights on a tripod. Yeah. And then this one is on standby in This case. is on standby. We actually wanted those. Got to get in quick. That's right, oh, well. no? <laughs> Bambi lovers, look away now. Simon's trying his hand at reverse taxi derby. Yeah. This looks like awesome fun, oh, doesn't it? Oh, it is awesome. They're having a ball. I thought you were hanging up so high that everyone would just leave you alone and it didn't happen. Oh, my God, I'm going to be sick. The brothers' gruesome plan is to make this lovely old stag into a lighting fixture using LED fairy lights. And, of course, what dear head chandelier would be complete without laser beams? You didn't see anything else that tickled your fancy? We did, but, you know, this was the most original sort of thing we've yeah. done, so... There's five grand up for grabs. There so is. you reckon this is a winner? Absolutely. But whether the recipients of this dubious gift will ever speak to them again is a different matter. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. <laughs> You're an idiot. I was waiting for that. <laughs> I think when Chris and Jenna find out that um, what we've done to the deer, um, I don't think they're going to be too happy. Oh. You can't hang that anywhere, serious. It's hideous. They had a drill going through the eyes, so... Oh, I wouldn't know anyone who would put it in the house. It's going to be hideous. hideous. Oh, my God. Is it foam still? This is a family program. This is really disturbing. After pleading with the manager, Carsten's persuaded him to sell the antique poop flute. It's That's beautiful. I, mean. I reckon a, a light sand with a coat of penetrol. But he's keen to keep more than a whiff of its original character. You know, that's original poo all through there. We don't want to get rid of that. Ugh, oh, what's with the boys on this show? Max and Carsten plan to make the breather pipe into a freestanding lamp. Hmm, anyone else noticing a theme developing here? It's a gift for neighbours Michael and Carlene, but at the moment it's missing a vital component, a base to keep it upright. You know, there's enough weight in that. No, we don't have to worry about that falling over. Mm. That Chris is keeping busy sanding back the shelving unit for the vertical garden. And Jenna's on the lookout for herbs to fill it. Oh, they're all so pretty. I don't know which ones to pick. But I need herbs. I need to stick to the original plan. No detouring. So we've got this um, bookshelf kind of thing. Oh. And we're going to turn it into like a... Um, Vertical garden. And then in these little ones here, I brought a couple of the little things. Yep. Um, I want to do, like, some herbs. Yeah. Chris and Jenna's vertical garden will add a dash of greenery to Daz and Dee's apartment. And if Chris has his way, every other colour of the rainbow too. We've got some LED strips and their colour range. So we decide, you know, if this is going to be outdoor, if they're having a party, they can just flick the switch and have a disco outside. <laughs> it's Double D's Disco. Hmm, kind of has a ring to it, don't you think? Although, over at Beacon, the couple has opted for rather more conventional lighting. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah, three of those, I reckon. I like the look of those, but they may not be bright enough. Um, three of them together, though, it might be enough. You know, you'd have that as mood lighting rather than um, for practical reasons. So we might get away with it. This is going to be the easiest challenge of all time. Can we go home and do some tiling? Yeah, yeah, we're allowed to go early. We've got stuff to do. 
He's not wrong. Back at the block, the couple's plumber, Marshall, has found them a new plasterer. He's rushed in to do the job, only to find it's a game of hurry up and wait. I don't know what's going on. So, if, if, if there was some sort of direction... Have you tried ringing Darren? No. Hey, Marshall. If we knew what was going on, we could... Yeah, yeah mate, look, you've, you've, you've walked into a nasty situation. You really have, I can see it. In Darren and Dee's bathroom at the moment, it's a big disaster. There's no direction from, from Darren and Dee because they're not here. They haven't assumed there's going to be a challenge on today. That's a big mistake. So we've got to just start making the decisions, don't we? Take the reins, mate, and just make it happen. Yeah. Come on, mate, let's do it. Right you haven't got a choice. The boys are at Beacon. They've decided laser beams are best left to James Bond villains. So we're looking for more traditional lighting options. Eyes? They're too big. We're trying to look out for little, small, small lights, like almost Christmas tree lights. So we have arrived to Beacon to get some lights for the eyes and the antlers and the mouth and the ears. Um, so um, she's just gone to check if we've got a small enough, but they, they can't heat up, otherwise the deer will catch on fire. Maybe Mitre 10 will be more mighty helpful. Do what do you call a deer with no eyes, no legs, and it's on fire? Look, look at this. Still no flame and eyes. LED fairy lights. See, that's what we want, but we just I just want a single one. Just get that just in case we need more than 200. <laughs> Michael and Carleen have taken a bit of a swerve from their original plan to make a spotlight. It's bloody heavy, Michael. It's bloody really, heavy. really heavy. They've instead decided to combine the old brazier and vintage brass telescope to create a reading light. OK, you can let that go, Shell. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Problem is, the brazier makes for a pretty hefty lampshade. <laughs> but with a little ingenuity, a few screws, and a couple of springs, Michael saves the day. Uh, we're looking pretty good, but we've still got a lot to do. So, you know, we really got to get our skates on. So. This has taken 130 years to look like that. Why would you get rid of that and make it look white in 10 seconds, you know? It's, it's that funny, old. like, some people don't have the appreciation for history, a story to tell. Yeah, I love that about it. But some people, they like to paint. Yep, really like to paint. No more paint. Needs more paint. In 15 minutes, we've got to hang it. Still 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah in 15 minutes, they'll give us half an hour to put it up. Fit it off, make sure it works. Sparky still hasn't put his baton holder on. No more paint. It's annoying me. <laughs> They're not fitting. No, they're too thick. Look how thick that is. I, no, I, I really think it's one go like this, because otherwise yeah, it'd be a tangled mess. I can't, I can't reach anyone. Oh, we'll get loads to do. You know... Sometimes they say that artists get a little bit close to their work. Yes. Would you two just like to take a step back, just have a look at your creation? You might get some fresh ideas. I don't think, I don't think we've got time for fresh ideas, Shell. Look, there is. There is certainly, surely, something. We're committed, Shell. We're committed. Yeah. No, you're going to be committed. It looks scary with us now. Once it's on a wall... No, no. <laughs> you forget about the hands up your neck. Yeah. Shannon, I think Hello. it's just again. Hello, start again. Start again. <laughs> yeah, start again. He said it. He said it. He said he's going to start again, everybody. Yes! Yay! It's a rush to the finish on the Love Thy Neighbour Challenge, and the blockheads are putting the final touches to their repurposed housewarming gifts. Except, that is, for the boys. With just half an hour to go, they've ditched the deer head and are now scrambling to make this old brass hopper into a glass-topped coffee table. You haven't got a big round piece of glass, have you? I need, I need it big. That's all right. You don't have one, you don't have one. No worries. We can go with a lamp. <laughs> Sheesh, I can't keep up. OK, lamp it is, right? Are you doing something with that now? No, no, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> Plan B is just, just in case our creation creeps everyone out. 
We're not going to provide them with an industrial lamp. It's not for the win. It's um, to remain friends with everyone else on the block. And in particular with Chris and Jenna. They don't know yet, but they could have just dodged having to use this in their carefully designed multi-million dollar apartment. This is looking good. I'm happy. Your neighbours are thrilled. Go! But with just 20 minutes to go, Plan B is going to have to come together fast. To have any chance of finishing, they need a Sparky ASAP. But both are working on Daz and Dee's pendant lights. Just get the Sparky. Yeah, they're all busy. Just make an announcement then. Who wants a deer head or who wants something better? <laughs> Give me a Sparky. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Too much? Bit no, more. Bit more. What was that wire no, no. you used through there? It's only really to hang it up there, but. Is that a clock? 15 minutes to go! Hug, hug, hug. If we get this one finished, we'll definitely present this one. If we can't, well then I think we'll have to present the other one. Hey, buddy, what are we doing? Tashi? Yes? Have you got time to get started on the other one? Um. So we can finish, get them both lit? Or are you busy? We'll get them both uh, two minutes here, or well, five minutes here, and I'll come back. Yeah, we've only got, four, like, 12 minutes left. There's one. Uh, there's another one in the car. I think one's going to be lit, but the other one... Are we going to get one lit? I'll get both of them lit. You will? Yeah. Go, 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 Will! Is our moment. Yeah. Oh, super cool. Dang it. Just put it there. Can't oh, there, And your time is up to down. Thanks. That was fun. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Turned out so much better than I envisioned. It's better than what I pictured it. Yeah. After some fabulous work from the whole crew, it's time to reveal who gets which gift and choose a winner. And I'm going to need some help with that. To choose which team has demonstrated the most impressive and innovative transformation, I have called in two local heroes. Please welcome one half of the reigning block champions and one half of the reigning block chumps. Your judges today, Stephen Dale. <laughs> How does it feel to be on this side? Heaps less stressful, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Oh, it's going to be tough judging, trust me. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon I can already see some cool stuff. Oh, yeah. But we might as well do it properly, shall I've got something for Steve and something oh, for myself. Yep. Oh, there you go. Oh, right. Thank you. Darren Palmer's it. Yeah. Right. Now we're good to go. Oh, wow, everything looks <laughs> heaps more innovative already. Unreal. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. Wow. All right, well, let's start down this end. Cool. Can't <laughs> wait to check out the colour palette. <laughs> First up, it's the Double Ds with their loudspeaker pendant lights. These are Carnival loudspeakers yep. from the 1940s. But our client has got the same apartment we've got, so we've got big industrial windows yep. going along the back of our apartment. So we wanted something that would be have that industrial feel to it. I could see them in your apartment that you've just completed last year, Steve. Well, yeah, we had an eclectic taste, as you, you may or may not have noticed. Yes, we know. Eclectic's a different word for crazy. <laughs> and uh, I, th you I think these crazy? are unreal. No, no, I like them. These, no, are, very these nice. are crazy cool. Oh, they're, oh, they're very cool. nice. Yeah. Very nice. Could you just hook them up um, standing up? <laughs> you yeah, need just, a ladder. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Just held both of the men for the boys to lift nice. up. <laughs> so Steve and Dale are fans. But what about the recipients of Daz and Dee's creation? Who is your neighbour? Max and Carsten are our neighbours. Okay. Love trumpets. <laughs> <laughs> Chris and Jenna's shelving unit turned vertical garden is up next. But will the boys dig the disco lights? Right. Hey. Oh, wow, hey. <laughs> Bit of a... Yeah, plants are gonna like that, Dad? Oh, plants will love that. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll grow afros with that, <laughs> that sort of life. Oh, this is good. Yeah, what do you yeah. reckon, Steve? Oh, I like it. It's it combines cool. all the power of garden and disco. <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
Definitely what you're after. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> and who is this being gifted to? Uh, this beautiful gift is for Darren and Deanne. It would be nice to have a veggie garden. Maybe we can just tweak it a little bit and make it into a veggie garden. Next up for inspection, the brothers' last gas pendant light and gruesome disco deer head. Oh, look at yeah, that. No, yeah, no, it's driving too. Cool. Yeah. Is it a little no, disco deer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. That's very similar to what I was trying to do in the light challenge in our series, with putting lights coming out the eyeballs. So We wanted to tackle that, but yeah. um, she's got glass eyes. So oh, OK. We didn't, we didn't yeah, it makes it explode difficult. Anything. So then what happened? This evolved. So while everyone was throwing up, we undecided to whip this fella up. Yeah, it's been an interesting day for oh, you boys. Yeah, it's been great. <laughs> which, no, which one do you want us to judge? You flip a coin for it? Or? We are happy to flip a coin for this, but before we do, who is your neighbour receiving your gift? <laughs> the lovely Christian Jenner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there was a few sighs of relief and a few squeals of pain yeah, just then, I think. Pain. All right. Heads is heads. Yeah. Tails, tails is tails. Is tails. Exactly. Chris and Jenna. Yeah, Up right. she goes. What a great result. It's a head. head. <laughs> <laughs> the deer head it was. And they were disgusted. <laughs> You know what? Scotty gave us a gift today. Maybe we'll return the favour and give him a gift. Yeah, maybe. Ah, so what's this? A barometer? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, from the 1880s, it's actually a, um, a breather for the sewerage. OK. Box. Yeah. Oh, perfect. That's yeah. pretty cool. So yeah. it's had a bit of a crappy past. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But <laughs> <Right. laughs> well, we've tried to brighten up its future. I don't know if that went over there, but... <laughs> <laughs> I get it, mate, because yeah. it's a lot. There's a lot. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But will Michael and Carlene be turned on to its potential or left in the dark? <laughs> That's tolerable. <laughs> I like it, Shell. Hey, you can I'm see this in your all. place? Yeah, yeah. Straight to the door. in my house, right next to the deer's head. Yeah. Your man cave mm. is awesome. Nearly complete. I hope <laughs> the next people have done a pool table and then we're done. <laughs> well, let's go and see, yeah. shall we? I reckon it looks almost made to factory standard, like it should be something that's that's being pumped out. Oh, it looks like it would belong in a high-end apartment sort of thing, though, doesn't it, Steve? Yeah, I think uh, I think any couple that gets this might be a lucky couple. And lucky last, that couple is Simon and Shannon. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were the proud recipients yes. of their wonderful creation. We got the best. And we gave out the worst. A ringing endorsement from the brothers, but will our judges agree? They're very creative, Shall. I'll give them that. They're, uh, they've all come up with very cool stuff. Formidable um, foam, Some things they? probably easier to fit into a house than others. Um, <laughs> no, not naming any pieces, but, uh, you know, look, I was impressed by all of them, creativity-wise. There can be only one winner, you know that. There can and shall. Steve-o, do you want to do the honours? This is where we go yeah, for we a go break, for yeah? No, 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 no breaks, no, no ads. Oh. No. <laughs> hey, Blockaholics. For terrific deals on products used on the Block Glasshouse, head to Nine Jump In on your favourite device. Follow the links to the Block Shop and get closer to the show than you have ever before. The Blockheads have spent the last six hours repurposing vintage furniture in the Love Thy Neighbour Challenge. But after receiving the fruits of their neighbour's labour, some couples are basking in the afterglow considerably more than others. So which couple will win the day and take home the five grand prize? Over to you, Steve-o. And the winner is... Michael and Carl.
is that now? Right, you lot. Back to the block. Back to the block, you lot. <laughs> now on. Right. Your bathrooms yeah, await, blockheads. <laughs> Everyone in the room hated us. No one liked the deer idea. The deer idea. I think it's going to be a great art piece, really. I think it's freaking awesome. I mean, you can't buy that sort of stuff. Well, we got a challenge win. Yeah, bye. I'm not too confident about this bathroom, though. Do our floors, tiles are down. We're down hours ago, apparently. And, no, and everyone else hasn't even waterproofed yet. Yeah. Um, we wanted to get more done today. Uh, we wanted to start a bit of the tiling. But everything looks schmick. It looks really good. Do you think this shower head's big enough? Yeah, it nice. Well, our tiles are in on the floor. Super, super happy with the way they look. I can't wait to see the walls with all the tiles and then I think tomorrow night we're going to be up in the ceiling doing some painting. When I left this morning to go to the challenge, um, I was really, really nervous that we weren't going to get this done. It's hey. 10.30 and the boys are knocking off uh, and our waterproof is just starting. We might actually pull this off, so here's hoping. I'm just going to do a quick clean up so that old Keith he, um, doesn't get up us in the morning. Okay. Oh my gosh, I've been on a challenge all day and my kneecaps are hurting. <gasps> I think I just broke the bed. <laughs> well, I'm just happy I didn't get the moose head because it was pretty hideous. Um, I feel a bit sorry for jo um, Jenna and Chris. <laughs> His name is Albert, hashtag Albert, AKA Albie. When you come for open inspection, you need to take a selfie with him, okay? We're gonna make this thing go viral, hashtag Albie. Yeah, hashtag good luck with that. And Jenna's not the only one who's tired and delirious. No, I met Brad. No, I didn't meet Brad. Yeah, I did meet Brad. No, I didn't. No, I met Dale. <laughs> I don't know. I'm too tired. So I'm going to bed. I think everyone else is staying up. But it's getting pretty late. It's like 11 o'clock and there's a lot of noise going on over in there. Yes. Remember this little rant from this morning? What are you doing? And we just all need our sleep, you know? We're all tired. And yet, with all the other blockheads trying to get some well-earned sleep, guess who's up causing a racket till the small hours? It's um, currently 10 past one in the morning, and uh, we've got a squid and waterproof bathroom. We've done a fantastic job. They certainly have, thanks to the hard work of plumber turned Chippy Marshall and his ring-in plaster. Looks like Darren's pulled off a miracle and he doesn't even know it. Very tired. It's been a big, big day. So uh, I'll see you in the morning. Tomorrow night... So what are we using this face for, though? Lovebirds Chris and Jenna have their first big blower. You're killing the thought. We're not. Before. We're putting every option on the table, eh? You are. Carsten receives some shocking news. I'm rattled. That could have been me. D and Darren go to war about the location of a towel rail. That is a disaster. Why would you do that without talking to me? I think it's in a perfect good position. It's in the middle of the wall. Doesn't matter who ordered it. Too late for that. While Chris and Jenna lurch from one catastrophe to another. At the moment, we're short tiles, so we don't have our feature tile wall, which is going to be finished. I think we're seriously stuffed. 